All right, so we're going to talk about phase diagrams. <clears throat> phase diagrams are a graphical interpretation of pressure versus temperature. Uh, okay, so basically you can, you can figure out, if you know the temperature or pressure of any substance, you can figure out what phase it is using the phase diagram. So, and we also can see um, what pressure and temperature is needed for different phase changes going from solid to liquid to vapor. So let's look, let's look at this uh, graph in itself and try and uh, understand what this is saying. So we have three major lines here. We have one going up this way, and we have one coming down here. So these, this separation here between the solid and vapor, this point where if, if any time it crosses this line, we're going to have sublimation occurring. Um, anytime it crosses this line here, it's going from a solid to liquid or liquid to solid, either way, um, we're going to either have freezing or melting going on. Um, notice that at one atmosphere, which is what we know, one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius is a normal freezing point and melting point. Um, Any time you have a temperature pressure within this region, your, your substance will be a will be a liquid. Anything down here, your substance will be a vapor or a gas. Um, you have our, the reason we call this normal is because one atmosphere we call it is normal atmospheric pressure, um, and we also know this is normal boiling point at 100 degrees Celsius. We know that water boils at 100 degrees. Okay, there are a couple other things in here that you might not know. Um, one is when they all intersect right here, that was what we call the triple point. Actually, there is a, t there is a temperature and pressure at which all three phases will coexist together. Um, and we're going to call that the triple point. Um, there also is something up here called the critical point. The critical point is a place where um, anything, any pressure or temperature that's higher than the critical point, there's no way the liquid, the liquid phase will exist. It will only, the substance will only exist in the gaseous phase. So um, this actually can tell us a lot of things in terms of um, sub the, which, where the substance is in terms of uh, the state of matter that it's in. All right, so let's look at something else. This was water. So let's look at something else. There's another phase diagram we can talk about. Each substance has its own phase diagram. Um, this is carbon dioxide. And there's a couple differences in carbon dioxide than there was in water. One main difference, if you look at both of them, one main difference is this line here. Okay, notice this line versus this line. Okay, water is very unique in the sense that um, it will have its solid form is more dense, sorry, less dense than its liquid form. So as we continue to add pressure to the solid form, it'll actually change to a liquid state. Um, if we continue to add pressure, if you notice you go up, it's going to eventually change into liquid state because liquid state is actually more dense than the solid state. Whereas in most substances, if you increase pressure, it's going to stay in its solid state because the solid state is actually more dense than the liquid state. So you're going to see a line that looks like this. All right. <clears throat> Notice carbon dioxide, we're going to call that dry ice. Carbon di the reason we call it dry ice is because here we have some dry ice actually with us. Um, let me get some out for you. All right, the reason we call it dry ice is because we have it in its solid form, but yet it sublimates, meaning it goes straight from solid to gas, okay? And this is used sometimes in like movie studios or to make that gas, um, that gas appearance, the gaseous appearance. So if you notice, it goes straight from the solid state, skips, skipping the liquid state, going straight to the solid state, I mean, straight to the gaseous state. Like we call this sublimation. All right, so we're gonna actually demonstrate what the um, triple point will look like uh, by putting dry ice in this container and seeing if we can make it liquid somehow. So let me try and put my safety goggles on because safety is always first. And we are going to put um, little pieces of, we're gonna, this is really cold, so I really shouldn't be doing this, but. Um, it's not going to hurt me unless I hold it for too long. Uh, little pieces. Let's shut this in. All right. So what I'm going to do with this? Um, oh, goodness. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to close this up, and so now I have my dry ice in here. And my dry ice is sublimating, as you saw before, and so it's going straight to a gaseous state, meaning, and also making the pressure inside this container much higher. Okay, so if we look back at our, if you remember back at our graph, you notice this is continuously sublimating. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to continue to make the pressure high enough where it'll stop sublimating and actually go to a triple point where you can see all of these at the same time. And how we're going to do that is going to lower the temperature and notice over on the side, we're notice the inside this container is really cold, um, as you can see from the impressions of the bottle. And also, as you can imagine, it's getting really pressurized in here because um, the gas is continuing to sublimate 
and it's going to increase the pressure inside the bottle. And so hopefully we'll get to the triple point if I can shake it up a little bit. If you can see like on the side over here, maybe you can see like the liquid inside here. So now all three phases are existing, making this the triple point. You can see on the bottom like maybe some liquid here, liquid CO2. All right, so now we're going to open the bottle and see what happens. Woo! All right, notice all that gas that's escaping. There's tons of pressure in here. Is it actually at five atmospheric pressure, um, which is five times the regular uh, atmosphere that we actually are living in uh, at sea level. Uh, so actually, let's go back here and just make sure we understand. Uh, what will happen is here is our normal temperature around here. We know that uh, car solid carbon dioxide's in a gaseous state. What we did, we lowered the, the temperature by putting it inside a container, and we increased the pressure as it sublimates inside the pressure. And we were able to create this triple point where all three uh, substances coexist. So this graph actually tells us a lot of things about the different types of um, substances and different types of forms that they can actually have in pressure and temperature and how they're related.